What's happening, my film friends? David the Film Junkie here. All right, this is the last video I'm going to make about that Batman vs Superman trailer. It's just a video to try to bring those those negative people, those people who've thrown in the towel, who have like just gone, "Hey, I've seen the whole movie. I'm not gonna go fucking see it. Fuck you." Because maybe at one time they were like, "Oh my god, this movie's gonna be amazing. Holy shit!" And then all of a sudden they see this trailer and they're just, they're done. They're done. And if you haven't seen my analyzed trailer review, basically I just go over the whole thing. It's about under 12 minutes. I go over the whole thing, I'll post it down below, but really to sum up the whole thing, why the, the, the reason why people are just going, oh my God, they spoil too much, blah, blah, it's just, it's, it's a psychological thing. I think they're just, the narrative change in this movie, I don't think a lot of people are grasping because it goes from just like two superheroes fighting each other and it's like, that's all we want to see to like, the Justice League. It's quite a leap, and I'm wondering if, uh, you know, Warner Brothers and DC kind of just went, <laughs> we fucked up. Hopefully not, but here's a video that, you know, you you people out there that are still like, oh, I cannot wait to see this movie, and you're trying to defend that trailer, you're trying to defend this movie, this is a video for you to show those other people, and if you are one of those people that are just gonna continue to shit on Warner Brothers and DC and this movie, well, Fuck you, I'm still gonna go see it and a lot of people are still gonna go see it. So here are the unanswered questions that we still have for Batman versus Superman. How does the beat between Batman and Superman resolve? Now this is a question I've had since they announced the fucking movie because I knew they weren't just gonna beat the shit out of each other and kill each other. There was gonna be a resolution. We're gonna see that epic shot of them shaking their hands, which I cannot... Uh, I, I have wet dreams about that. We don't exactly know what resolves their beef, okay? Because obviously Batman's super fucking pissed of what happened to Man of Steel, and he wants to just like bring the guy. He says in that second trailer, that epic trailer, we have to destroy him. He wants to destroy Superman. So what stops him from doing that? How does Wonder Woman play in? She hasn't even spoken a fucking word in either trailer. So it's like, how does she play into all this? We don't know exactly. There's some, there's a lot of theories out there and there's some pretty good ones too. But it's like, who, how does she fit in? Why is she part of this movie? What happened to Wayne Manor? Wayne Manor's birth to shit, and we see that in that second trailer when he's walking through the grave. We don't know what happened with Wayne Manor. What the hell happened there? Okay, no, now nobody, don't say that Christian Bale, Bruce Wayne, bur burned it down because I thought about that. Who sent Bruce Wayne the notes? Obviously, we think it's a Joker, but it ties in there somewhere. They wanted to show us in the trailer, so it's like, well, what's going on with that? Why did he receive that? Who does Jenna Malone and Scoot McNary play? I can't say that guy's name without sounding like a 40s radio DJ. Scott McNary! Who do they play? There's a lot of theories out there, like Jenna Malone, is she playing Barbara Gordon? You know, as either Batgirl or like, you know, Oracle, or as maybe she's playing Carrie Kelly. Who knows? Scott McNary, we also saw him too with like green socks, so we were thinking, okay, he's got robotic legs, so who? Magneto, what? Magneto? Metallo, hello, I'm recording the X-Men Apocalypse video after this, so, <laughs> you know, it happens. How does Aquaman fit in this story? We haven't seen him in any of this footage yet, although it would have been so awesome if, like, they teased it, like, his trident just comes flying out of, like, the water and he just goes, KINK! Like, right in front of the Trinity. Oh! Yeah. Yeah, bust your nut on that one for a little bit. But we haven't seen him yet, and he gets his own figurine. He's got, he's, there's toys out there that have the Jason Momoa Aquaman, so obviously he pays more of a pivotal role than than just like a Flash or Super or Cyborg character. Which brings me to the next question: Where do Flash and Cyborg fit in? We haven't heard anything about them. I mean, they're supposed to make cameos. Probably just you know the Cy Cyborg will probably just get the just the regular character. We're not probably not gonna see Cyborg, but we're supposed to get a Flash cameo. So where do they? Come in. Parademons? They look very much like parademons, which then is like a Easter egg for Darkseid. And then we have that nightmare sequence with Batman. Is that Batman actually having a nightmare or is that Wonder Woman having a premonition? There's a theory out there that Wonder Woman is having a premonition and she's seeing how this is all gonna result. Who knows? But what the fuck's going on with that? Kryptonite! We know that there's Kryptonite in this. We know that Batman's probably gonna use Kryptonite as well as Lex Luthor. We haven't seen it being utilized, so hey. Let's see some fucking kryptonite. The court hearing. In that second trailer that it seemed like people forgot about this, but Superman does go up to the Supreme Court and to answer for what he did. So how does that resolve? What's his, what's the verdict? What's going on? The flood scene. We see like a bunch of people. There's a flood happening and Superman's up there and blah, blah, blah. Does that have to do with Aquaman? 
How? What the? Me? Oh, eh? Horses, okay? We see people riding horses in that second Comic-Con, that Comic-Con trailer, we see somebody riding horses. What's going on with that shit? The shuttle scene? Superman obviously rescues some people who are about to go up to space for some reason, and everything's blowing up, but he saves the freaking little pod where that obviously that people are actually in. When does Lex Luthor go bald? Now we've seen this, okay? Entertainment Weekly showed us this. And we've seen the footage and we've seen Lex Luthor with hair, so when does he go bald? When do we see the Lex Luthor that we're more familiar with? Because we are getting that, guys. Don't just think like that Lex is what we're getting. Robin flashback and possible Joker cameo? Now we know that Robin is dead and we know that the Joker killed him. It seems like they're following that story arc, which is great. And we've also heard rumors that there might be a, like a nightmare scene where he's thinking about that or dreaming about that. The whole scene where the Joker beats the shit out of Jason Todd Robin and then that's one of the reasons why. Batman goes in retirement for a little bit. Are there any Batman villains in this movie? We obviously got Superman villains, which just shows you that Batman vs Superman is in fact a Man of Steel sequel, but are there any Batman villains or even any Wonder Woman villains? Themyscira! Obviously Wonder Woman's in here and we've seen shots. They built a whole big huge set in the desert for Wonder Woman. Maybe it was just for the Wonder Woman movie to show Themyscira, but we were thinking, okay, maybe they're shooting scenes where she's gonna flash back or we see her leave Themyscira to come to Earth and we're gonna see Wonder Woman's home town. And finally, we haven't seen in the battle him utilizing possible kryptonite bullets or whatnot. Everybody's giving shit because Batman has a gun. It's like, it's not like he's shooting... It's not like he's shooting like an AR at Doomsday. He's probably got some really cool technology that's going on. So there you go, guys. That's the questions that we still have an an we, have, we don't have any answers to. And if you know any more questions, feel free to post them down below because there's still so much that's unanswered. This movie's probably going to be close to three hours long. I fucking hope it is. So I'm just trying to bring some of you people back. Okay, This the, the trailer did not spoil a lot. Yes, we didn't need to see Doomsday, but we probably didn't see Doomsday in his final form. And stop saying, seeing the Trinity and having Superman and Batman resolve their issue and seeing them band together is a spoiler. That's not a spoiler. That's always been there from the very beginning, which I've expressed <laughs> many times. So let me know your thoughts about it down below in the balls area and do all that stuff, other stuff, and hit the like, thumbs up. You know, you know the drill, guys. But yes, there you go. So hopefully I brought some of you back. And if some of you that, are, that didn't need bringing back, throw this video at one of those people, see what happens. And I appreciate you guys for watching. I'm Dave the Film Junkie. I'll talk to you later.